KEJSFM, Lubbock 106.5. Feel the power. Feel the power. Broadcasting live from downtown Lubbock, the new Power 106. Hasta ver que mi legado. This is the Florida Man Funny with Molio on Power 106. Good morning. We're 11 minutes uh, before 8 o'clock and only a few minutes away from the big announcement. I know that announcement. I'm just, ooh, I'm and, tingly. And I'm pretty excited about it. As I'm starting to put it together, I'm like, hmm, this is going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good. No, it's not going to be good. It's going to be fantastic. So, today is Friday, so you know what that means. Oh, yes, it means your favorite weekly roundup of the weird that can only happen in Florida. And if you don't laugh at this one, (laughs) then when they made you, they forgot whoever made you, whatever you believe in, forgot (laughs) to give you a funny bone. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. So, lucky me, I live in Lubbock, and welcome back to the Florida Man Funny, a.k.a. Florida Man Friday on both Power 106 and YouTube. And this week, it's all about the drunk driving. You didn't think that you could come up with a funny story out of drunk driving, but it does happen from time to time. Florida man wheelchaired, or Florida man, let's try this again. Florida man wheeled to jail for a wheelchair DUI. DUI? That's what I have to say. Ronnie Scott Hicks has two prior DUI convictions, but his arrest on Monday night was slightly more memorable. The 54-year-old Floridian was arrested Monday night after police in Palm Bay got reports of a man in a motorized wheelchair blocking traffic. Hicks had two previous DWI convictions, neither while driving a wheelchair, though. When officers arrived on the scene, they allegedly saw Hicks sitting in his wheelchair blocking traffic. They said he smelled of alcohol, was slurring his words, and he refused to take a breathalyzer. He was taken into custody, refused treatment, and remains behind bars at the Brevard County Jail on a $5,000 bond. Now, it, I think it would have been funnier had he been, like, swerving in the chair or something, not just <laughs> stuck in traffic. But that's still pretty funny, though. Our next one was even... I think the next one's even better. DUI suspect allegedly claimed dog was driving car. Well, I have a rough time believing this one. <laughs> if you thought the dog ate my homework was a bad excuse, then check this one out. A DUI suspect accused of leading deputies on a high-speed chase in Manatee County, Florida, allegedly told authorities that his dog was the one behind the wheel. Bradenton Patch reports that deputies gave chase to Railford Cooper the third. 26 after catching him speeding at around 7.45 on Wednesday. Cooper allegedly fled, ran a stop sign, drove through two ditches, and eventually crashed into a house. Cooper took off on foot and sought refuge in a nearby church, but churchgoers chased him off the premise. Ah, that had to be interesting in and of itself. While he was being handcuffed, Cooper told deputies, I wasn't driving that car. Then he allegedly elaborated, my dog was driving the car. The deputy who arrested Cooper noted he smelled the strong smoter, the strong odor of alcoholic beverages, maybe I need to stop drinking those too, (laughs) as well as an odor of burnt marijuana. No dog was actually spotted in Cooper's vehicle. So I think he was hallucinating and only thought there was a dog in his car driving. That is this edition of Florida Man Funny, Florida Man Friday. Give him the YouTube channel, Mobile. Yeah, we'll have the video up later this morning. Power 106.5, love it. Don't go anywhere. Big announcement. 18 minutes away. Right here on Power 106.